Hey guys, Miss Riggs here. Um, we are getting ready to start a new unit. So this unit we're going to talk all about the endocrine system. And so this week we're going to talk about the functions and the control of the endocrine system. Um, and so remember to fill out your vocabulary sheet as we go. Um, and if you need to rewind or play back, do that as many times as you'd like. So the first um, vocabulary word we're going to talk about today is basically the, the basis of the endocrine system is hormones. So hormones are chemical messengers that are secreted by the endocrine glands and they influence the activity of other tissues and organs. So it's basically going to be sent out throughout the body with, within the blood um, and it's going to tell, tell organs of our body what to do and how to m basically maintain homeostasis um, within the body. And so they're going to influence activities such as sleep, hunger, metabolism, energy, and lots of other um, things that we'll get into as we talk about more about this unit. So there are two types of hormones. We have steroid hormones. These are lipid or fat-based hormones. Um, and these are less common. Uh, most uh, um, hormones are going to be the amino acid hormones. Um, but these steroid hormones are secreted by the adrenal cortex. Um, and the reproductive glands. So they're less common, but they are important um, within our body. So amino acid hormones are everything else, and so they're the most abundant hormones within our body. And these are hormones composed of proteins or protein-related substances, and we'll talk more about those as we go through this unit. Upregulating or upregulated, this is the increase of hormone receptors. Um, an example of upregulating a... Um, Hormone receptor is what happens when we exercise. Um, as we exercise, we are able to upregulate insulin receptors, and so it's we're able to take in more insulin, or I mean take in more um, glucose, so we don't need as much insulin in order to, to do that. Um, so we have a picture here of these receptors um, kind of opening up in order to uh, regulate. So the opposite of that is down regulation, and this is the decrease of hormone receptors. Um, and counter example of the exercise is obesity. So obesity down regulates um, these hormone receptors. And so this is why um, a lot of people who are obese might have type 2 diabetes because they're having to increase their insulin so much that their body, it just wears their organ systems down and they can't regulate this, um, this system as well. So that brings us to insulin. So insulin is a hormone that promotes glucose uptake in body tissues. Um, so this is really important in regulating our blood glucose levels or our sugar levels within our body. Neural control. Um, this is nerve fibers stimulated, stimulate the endocrine organs to release hormones, and we'll talk more about these as we go. Um, so there's neural control, there's hormonal control. This is a type of endocrine control in which endocrine organs are stimulated by hormones from other endocrine organs. Uh, and this all starts with the hypothalamus. So the hypothalamus is really the main um, part in regulating hormonal control. And so we'll definitely talk a lot about that hypothalamus, but think about that hypothalamus as kind of the president that's telling everything else um, what to do. Um, hormone receptors. This is a transmitter cell that senses and responds to certain stimuli. When the hormone binds with its receptor, then it is able to influence the activity of that cell. So hormone receptors are important because not every cell is going to be affected by certain hormones. They have to have a certain receptor. And you can see up here that um, this is kind of a simplified version, obviously, but this hormone kind of fits into place with this receptor. So this receptor is going to take on this certain kind of hormone. Um, and this is happening in the cell membrane. So if it's happening in the cell membrane, then um, it is going to be an amino acid hormone. Humoral control. This is a type of endocrine control in which levels of various substances in body fluids are monitored for homeostatic imbalance. So um, it's going to, this is going to be a negative feedback loop where um, 
if homeostasis is not in balance or if its homeostasis is not maintained, then it's going to send signals um, to regulate this imbalance and try to get us back into homeostasis. Epinephrine. This is a hormone that primes the body to fight or flight or fight or flee from a stressful situation. So this is going to be um, an a neural impulse or neural control. It's going to be controlled by the central nervous system where it tells the body to send out these, these hormones in order to um, basically help us survive. Hypothalamic releasing hormones. These are hormones produced in the hypothalamus and carried by a vein to the pituitary gland where they stimulate the release of pituitary hormones. Um, the opposite, hypothalamic non-releasing hormones, is going to ba basically stimulate um, the pituitary to stop certain hormones from being released. So opposite of um, hypothalamic releasing hormones. And then glucagon. Glucagon is cause, causes a breakdown of glucagon stored in the liver. The glucagon then enters the bloodstream and increases blood glucose levels. So this is going to um, affect insulin and affect our blood glucose levels in general. So those are our vocab words for the week. Um, again, if you'd like to, if you need to rewind at any time, feel free to do that. If you need to come back to this video, feel free to do that as well. Um, I do encourage you to make a Quizlet with your vocab words. Um, and if you have any questions, please feel free to ask me during class. Thanks for watching.